Hello, and welcome back to the world of Nintendo Land! And I am Lucky6, aka Lucky, and today we are going to be playing a very popular attraction here. Here, and in this, in this, in this weird place. See, look how weird it is. Where are we? The question will never be answered. I clearly dab on you. That that cool tree is the main me. You always get in my way trying to dab on things. Get out of my way trying to tap on the blue drip the last time, I'm pretty sure. Now get out of the way trying to tap on this game. Let's just stop messing around and play. So we're going for a dangerous quest. That is the archer. But that is the swordsman. Because swords are awesome. I'm going to be playing in the grasslands. Slugs. Huh? Huh? Let's go. Okay. So, in this game, you use, as the swordsman in this game, you use the Wii Remote. Oh, I think you use the Monkey Plus, I'm not for sure. And you move around on the Wii Remote, slash, like you would at a Wii Sports Resort. And you use B for a shield. But who can I use that right now when we can spin attack things in the face by hold, holding the sword? I prefer to hold it upright. Up, like, I prefer to hold it. I prefer holding the Wii Remote to the way. Holding the Wii Remote City. I prefer to hold it upward because it looks cool. And then we slash our opponents in the face because that's how we roll. Spin attacking people in the face. It's the best way to spin attack. Also, you also press the A button to change your target. Now, you can't really move any other way. It's not like you need the Wii Remote and the Uncheck to use the Uncheck to move your guy. Yeah, yeah. um, this is on a I am not walking right now. See how these guys? Wait for the guy to get close and spin attack them all in the face! Oh, that felt good and satisfying. So much satisfaction. And then you can also do this backflip spin attack. That, which is good for some certain guys when you see in a bit. You can also press the down button on the D pad when you're low. Will be the down button when you're holding it up right anyways. To go and um, to re to recalibrate the Wii Remote. So I'm gonna spin these guys, spin attack these guys in the face to get it all like that. But whatever. So. Spray. Had to come. Come at it. Come at me. You should come at me. You're gonna let your friend get closer. And spin attack you all in the face. Mmm. The satisfaction is real. Alright, so now I'm gonna be fighting the boss. Are you guys ready? For the boss fight? Ooh, it's a pig. Ooh, it's another pig. And they got wooden shields. Now. You cannot cut through these wooden shields unless you're using a spin attack to the face. And what's really annoying is not only do these guys have shields, but they also have a bigger health bar. Hard. But if you're not going to spin attack to cut their shield apart, you will have to use the remote to hit them where they're where they're in the opposite where they're holding shield. So they're holding it above their head. You gotta s swing sideways. Wait, it's the left, you swing right. Oh, yeah, the right, then you swing right. It's feasible. Mastered once again! Ba -da 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 -da. So that is mastering once again. Level 1 of Legends of the Bataclist, the Grasslands. Now we'll be going into everyone's favorite level of all, the Last Woods. Which, if you're playing like the fast, is not that hard to not get lost in. So, very deceiving if you play that game. 
But of course. Who knows? Maybe we are receiving it, I think. Anyway, so now we should be traveling through these lost woods. In this game, Legends of the Bag List. Come closer so I can spin a jack you in the face. Oh yeah. Aw oh, man, I lost out. I mean that. I can't master it. Be awesome. So, a gaming news, because I, I was thinking I should probably talk more. Or, there was an Nintendo Direct held on April 1st. Yes, I know, that's April Fool's Day, you think that's a total joke. No, it was probably one of the few believable things on April Fool's Day. Okay. In that direct, act, we saw the trailer for that Mio thingy and Pokemon. I really need to play more of that than the mix. That's, 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 that's all they ever played in like, like one of the 3DS games. But also, that Lucas also is, is going to return again as DLC. And there's a Smash Bros. battle which allows you to vote for another DLC character. I voted for a few. Which included... Which included the Inklings from Splatoon because they look awesome. And they're probably... It can be very unique to Smash for them. Um... So a few other characters. I forget which one specifically. But I voted for some more because you can do that. I don't know if you're supposed to. Okay, so this is an example of where you probably want to switch. What you doing? And this is also a place where you probably would have wanted your spin attack to be charged up. Alright, so now time for the boss. It's a giant big. So, in order, so this boss's shield is impenetrable. So you have to wait for him to move his shield to get attack. And then spin attack in the face. And then wait again. And then do some more attacks. And then hopefully not be hit in the face with his club. But he's in lower health when he swings his club back into position. It actually causes damage. So you have to remember that. Sometimes. Ouch. Probably be paying more attention. Alright, and he's dead, so we will once again collect the Triforce. But sadly, we took some damage, so we cannot master it. So let's, let's just go for a little bit longer. Da -da -da -da. I got the Triforce again. And also, speaking of Splatoon, and we got we know the release date for Splatoon. It will be May 29th. We also know that there's gonna be Splatoon Amiibo, which look like they're gonna be pretty useful and look awesome. And we and we also know that the Mario Kart DLC is coming out pretty soon. And that there's gonna be like April 23rd, there's gonna be some super awesome update, free updates to feel allow us to go 200 CC, which is just like crazy mode basically, because you're going so super fast. You're like Sonic the Hedgehog or something. Thing. And you're just gonna be you're just you're just gonna be that's that's just like Speedrunners are going to have tons of fun with that, I bet, because they're going to be going so fast. And it's time to spin attack some people in the face because it's their job in this game. 
Okay, so these bird dudes, dudes here, they, you know, as, as the sword is made, you gotta block them with your shield and then attack them. Spin attacking them in the face is probably the best option because it kills them instantly. Here's the bird again, charges up, you gotta block it, spin attack in the face, and then block this other bird, they attack it because you can't get trying to charge your spin attack, charge your brother's spin attack. And then you wait for these guys to get closer to you. These crazy, these crazy jello dudes. And then you spin attack them in the face and kill them all. Because you're evil. Well, not, you're not actually evil. Looks like we're kind of running short of time. So I gotta speed this up. Kill as many of these guys as I can. And take this. Chop, chop, chop. Alright, this would be good. This would be another good spot for a spin attack in, in the face. Again, I didn't charge. I don't have charge on it. And there's also a Yoshi's Woolly. Aw, oh, man, you ruined my master. I think. Yoshi's Woolly Woman is also going to be coming out. And it's going to have some of the most adorable plush amiibo things ever. They're so cute. And apparently it's gonna be challenging even to even to pro gamers, which is pretty cool. You know, it's not gonna be very oh, but of course Yoshi games are always pretty easy, but then you go for the collectibles and then you're going to die again, again, and again. Because being in a Yoshi game or a Kirby game is easy. 100 percent in a Yoshi or Kirby game, on the other hand, is not at all. So, that's cool. So, then we're killing these guys. Okay, so we're almost there. Hopefully I don't run out of time. Oh great, it's these guys. Hate these guys. Hate, oh. These guys are so annoying. You gotta slice them correctly. And then sometimes they change it, you have to slice in a different direction. And here comes the pigs. Oh no. Ugh. Ugh. No, oh, ouch, you got hit. Come on, hurry. You don't have enough time. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we take them out. And can't take these guys out with a spin attack. A nice spin attack and get them out. Come on. Oh, I didn't see you there. Come on. Got Man, this makes it feel like such a time when, when thanks to YouTube only vlogging for 15 minutes. Alright, let's get up the stairs. Stop pushing me down the stairs! Ouch. Alright, so now I'm gonna fight the boss and be done with this video. Cause I'm running out of time. So there's big. And there's another big. And there's a giant pig. So, um, for question of the day, I guess, um, what were your thoughts on the April 1st Nintendo Direct? Did you think it was good? Did you think it was bad? I don't know why you would think that. Or did, or did you think it was playing too epic to describe with words? Oh, I should probably target him instead. Come on. Well, uh, not enough time, I think. So, I'm gonna slice at him. Slice it in. Slice, slice, slice. Ugh. Slice, slice, slice. No, no, no. Slice, slice. Ugh. Slice, slice. Slice, slice. No, I hit the B button. Slice, slice. Ugh. What's the time? Okay. So I defeated him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, favorite, and share, and everything. Peace, frogmates, and I got the Triforce!